Hey guys, I'm uh, Ariza from Perth Canine Craft, also trading as Ubuntu support. Um, so I travelled to Brisbane in, from the 20th to the 30th of May 2022 and uh, because I volunteer for PTSD Dogs Australia and I actually went to be assessed to be a assistance dog assessor, right? Um, which is pretty cool and it was to become so PTSD Dogs Australia want to become certified by the Guide Hearing and Assistance Dog um, Association I think it is which is actually I think they are the Queensland Government Department right who knows anyway doesn't matter and it's recognized by all states so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a video series and I'm going to share what I have learned um, as I've gone through that process in eight nine days of learning so then doing the test and thus I would like to educate you guys and you know help you prepare for what you're in for if you do decide you want to um, you know do the public access test so the first thing is what is the public access test and I'm, a, I'm aware there's a lot of videos out there but anyway um, so it's a test uh, approved by the chief executive to assess if a guide hearing or assistance dog meets the standard provided in section 35 of the guide hearing and assistance dog act of 2009 now before you can insist on your right you must prove that you can meet the minim minimum responsibilities set out by the, the public access test because um, there's always two sides to a coin you have a right but you also have a responsibility and if you cannot meet that responsibility that right won't be awarded to you. So I don't really like the word right, I like the word privilege, but anyway. So the first thing you need to know, uh, which is one of these minimum standards, is the team safe and effective in a public space or a public passenger uh, form of transport? Um, so you must meet a hygiene and safety standard, okay? Secondly, uh, will the dog be effectively controlled by either the primary handler, which is the whoever the dog's being trained for, or an alternative handler who might be supporting the primary handler? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you do have an alternative handler, the handler must also be tested in a public access test to be qualified. And the third thing is you must pass each of the nine elements of the public access test. Now, uh, like, share and comment if you found this helpful. I look forward to sharing with you the following videos in the series and I'll share it with you guys on Tuesday. So I hope you guys look forward to it because I look forward to sharing it with you. Adios.